Army's next generation deadly assault rifle will punch like a tank. The service plans on fielding a next generation squad automatic rifle, the first version in the Army's next generation weapons system that chambers around between 6.5 mm to 6.8 mm, as a potential replacement for its 80,000 M249 saws. Colonel Jeffrey A. Norman, Force Development Division Chief at Army, told. While the service still hasn't set official requirements for the system, the next generation squad automatic rifle will weigh less, shoot farther, and pack more punch than the service's existing infantry weapons, and more importantly, the system in soldiers' arsenals to ensure that the rounds can still blast through enhanced enemy body armor at up to 600 meters. The goal is to equip infantry soldiers with an automatic rifle that fires a small bullet at the pressure equivalent to what a tank would fire. The chamber pressure for the standard assault rifle is around 45 ksi kilopound per square inch, but we're looking for between 60 to 80 ksi. The chamber pressure when an M1 Abrams tank fires is on that order, Norman told. We're looking to reach out around 600 meters and have lethal effects even if the target is protected by body armor. The next generation weapons program currently consists of the next generation squad automatic rifle, a next generation squad carbine, and a squad designated marksman rifle, along with specialized ammunition and fire control system. But while the Army had previously focused on fielding an improved carbine with a range and accuracy superior to the standard M4, the reason, according to Norman, is the Pentagon's current shift from the close quarters of urban warfare in Iraq and Syria to the mountains and open terrain of Afghanistan. While the carbine may be well suited for a knockdown, drag out brawl while moving house to house in cities like Mosul and Raqqa, it lacks the range to take out in open stretches. For the past 10 or 15 years, we've been really focused on the requirement of lethal effects against unprotected targets, Norman said. We need to have lethal effects against protected targets and we need to have requirements for long-range lethality in places like Afghanistan where you're fighting from mountain top to mountain top over extended ranges. The service is certainly working overtime to get the muscular system turning militants into pink mist downrange. Gordon told Task and Purpose that the next generation weapons systems currently undergoing testing and evaluation by the Soldier Lethality Cross-Functional Team at Fort Benning, Georgia to achieve the proper balance between range and lethality. The challenge of the 5.56 mm is that it doesn't have enough mass to defeat enemy body armor, Norman said. But the challenge with 7.62 mm ammo is that it has too much mass and not enough propellant. The right solution is somewhere between the two, where you have enough mass to penetrate but you're still moving fast enough. But the real heart of the next generation squad automatic rifle program is the fire control system, developed independently from the receiver and chamber. While the Army has spent years evaluating off-the-shelf options for soldiers' next assault rifle, see the Interim Combat Service Rifle Program aborted in November due to weight concerns rather than budget jousting. The Army's next generation squad automatic rifle We've got support from Congress and the Secretary of Defense we're not going to replace all 80,000 saws right away, but the intent is to get this R variant out to infantry squads as soon as possible. If all goes according to plan, the soldiers will get them to play with sooner than they thought. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.